every day there will be at least one business owner that will ask me to show him my Zoho CRM automations. Of course, I cannot show you my live system because it includes clients' information. So I decided to copy one of my automations and show you how it's being done. Today, I like to show you how I am treating a client from the moment that he is coming from the marketing channel and all the way until I meet him for the first time. So as you can see here, I am getting most of my traffic from YouTube. So YouTube will be the place that the client or the prospect just saw me and then he will go to the comments and he will click here to book an appointment. By clicking on the booking and appointment, it will be redirected to Zoho Bookings. Zoho Bookings will be synced to my calendar, which means it will know the availability on my calendar. Based on the availability, the client can decide which time slot to select. Let's assume that Monday the 1st on 4.45 p.m., this is when the client likes to meet me. He will fill the, the information and then it will be redirected into a thank you page. The client will get a confirmation for the appointment. I will get the appointment in my calendar. And in addition, there is an integration with Zoom meetings, which means a meeting link will be included in the appointment. So the client and myself will be able to click on it and join the meeting when the time arrives. 15 minutes after the appointment was scheduled, a form will be sent to the client. This form will collect all the information required for me to get on the client. Because if you remember, when the client booked the appointment, I only got his first name, last name, company name, and email address, and the phone number. But I also need his address to be ready for the future contract. I like to know what services he likes to have, so I need to have more information. This is why I'm sending this document. Whenever this document is being filled, it will continue and update the rest of the information on my Zoho CRM. Next, I am going to my Zoho CRM. In Zoho CRM, I will have the client and there will be two buttons, process or don't process, which means I met with the client with the on the introduction meeting. The client understands what I am doing and he likes me as a vendor. And I know what the client needs and I think that I can help him and he is a good match for me. If this is the case, I will click here on process new client. And then lots of stuff is happening in the background. Number one there will be a folder or multiple folders that are being created on my work drive. Work drive is the folder and files management for my company. Every client will have a folder which includes the company name and the person name. And inside that I will have also documents and session recordings. Every time that I am meeting a client, I will record the session and the session will be uploaded into this special place named Session Recordings. And my clients will have access to this special folder. So every time that the client likes to go back and review what was done during our meeting, he is able to go directly to this folder and see everything. Now, as you can understand, in order to upload the recording, I need to have a place to do it. So one of the things that the automation is doing is creating those folders. It's creating the hierarchy. Inside the client's folder, there will be created another folder for my business and two folders for the documents and recordings. Next, I need to have the client created in my Zoho books. So as you can see here, there is a client named Business Solutions and with his email and all the other details. That was created automatically for me by the script. Now, if I will go to the retainer invoice, you can see that the retainer invoice was created and sent to the client. 
the client just received an email and he paid it using Stripe. So now I have also a recorded payment in the system. When I will meet the client for the first time, I will go to the time tracking, I will go to the time sheets, I will click on log time, I will select the business, which is Dave Rosen, and I will click here on meeting with Dave, and I will start to run the timer. In order for me to log the time and be ready to log the time, because I'm running from one meeting to another, I don't have time to create the project, create the timesheets, create everything in Zoho Books. I need the system to do it for me. So the script that I created is basically creating everything for me and it's ready to log the time. There is one more step before that that I forgot to show you. When I'm going here to the Zoho CRM, you can see that I can manually send the service agreement. I can click here on send for Zoho sign, I can select the service agreement. I can select all the fields here, right? And then send it to the client. But I don't want to do it manually. So my script is basically in the background pre-filling all this information and sending the agreement to the client. So the result is that my script is sending the agreement to the client creating the folders on Zoho Work Drive, creating the client on Zoho Books, creating the project on my timesheets, and also sending the retainer invoice to the client. So all those things are really taking place whenever I just click the button. So this is one of my automations. Okay, now I know that some of you will probably think, okay, I also want it, but probably it's a very, very expensive. So it's not that really, really expensive. It's about 10 hours of work, everything that I just showed you. I know it because I just created it on my development server. So it takes about 10 hours to create these automations, which means it's around $1,000 to create this automation, which for a business, it's not that much. Now, also, if you're using someone else to do those scripts for you, at least you know what to expect, okay? So I hope that you found this uh, uh, session informational. I think you can, you can now take the automations to the next level. If you like it or you want to see more of the automations, let me know. I just need uh, some time to, to create them on the development system. If you like the session, thumbs up. And if you want more of that, of course, you can always subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next session.